guys good morning please excuse this mess right here I just want to touch base with you guys because yesterday I didn't really get a chance to get back to you about the second interview and the other interview that I went to today is the following day it's Tuesday Ooh, it's kind of bright yesterday the second interview went well after we discussed everything um, they just told me you know we're gonna keep keep in touch with you by the end of the week so we'll see you know when is the starting date and stuff so I'm not really sure I'm a bit confused if I get the job or not I want to email her and ask her if like for confirmation and stuff but I have a feeling though that they called another person for a second interview because the first interview is just the girl who interviewed me and she said for the second interview the person who operates the company wants to um, meet me I don't know if there's another person meet me and um, you know just to see if the other person likes me kind of thing so I'm not sure I'm co I, I'm confused but the way the interview went yesterday I feel like I got the job because we discussed all the um, initially the time is oh it's too bright the time is from 9 till 3 and uh, like later in the afternoon as well but he asked me like so what time do you need to get home for your kids I said well I have to get home to pick up my daughter and also to be just home and he said yeah we could work on that schedule and he prefers for me he even prefers for me to get home or to start at 8 so we decided to just to just go with 8 till 2 and then he just want me to work for a couple of hours from not a couple of hours from like an hour at night to call clients like around 7 30 till 8 so that's what we agreed on 8 till 2 and then 4 till 8 30 but from 4 I am just gonna take calls which I don't mind but yeah that's what we decided and um, yeah I had a feeling that I get the job and I'm just gonna wait for the confirmation by the end of the week so I'll get back to you guys the second interview that I went to yesterday um, as I said already I had a feeling that they're open uh, weekends which they do so I put in my availability and the interview viewer you know told me oh it's not really for you it's not gonna work I know you have kids and stuff and I understand that so I just want to let you know that this is the time won't really fit your needs so I'm like oh thank you for letting me know so I we didn't really go through the interview that far and uh, we just ended it so that's what happened yesterday so I'm gonna get back to you guys by the end of the week and give you update if um, I get the job or not hey guys how are you so today is Friday April the 8th I had my second interview last Monday and I told you guys that I'm gave you that I'm gonna give you an update on um, you know if I heard anything but I haven't yet today is Friday already and I'm so nervous all day today I feel like every time my phone um, every time a notification come up I'll be like oh maybe that's it because she usually email me and never get a an email from her this week so but she said um, she let me know by the end of the week so today uh, this is the day that I am expecting some something from her like an email or something letting me know what's up you know and this is the worst part of it all like waiting and you know waiting to hear something from the interview you know and I've been dreading it I can't I just want to get it over with I just want to know if I get the job or not I hope I did because you know base I I repeatedly telling my husband like what is the conversation like last Monday and I f and I feel like judging from what we've talked about last uh, Monday I felt that I get the job like I, I got the job you know like the way they talk to me and the way we discuss things I thought I secured it but I didn't hear the confirmation from them like I they didn't say oh you know you're hired we're looking forward look this is the starting date and stuff they just told me you know they'll keep in touch with me by the end of the week and let me know what's up you know and but that's it so I was hoping so I'm hoping to hear from them today, hopefully, or over the weekend, because she mentioned that the starting date would be around next week coming up. So this week coming up, so 
you know, they have to let me know if I got ha like they have to let me know if they <gasps> if they're gonna hire me or Ooh. not, and you know, and um, waiting sucks. Like I I hate it. Like it's always. <gasps> Like all throughout the week, I feel like I'm so like I feel so down. Like I'm just I just want to hear that I get the job and move on from there. But what can you do? It's there, you know. They're the one in control, and all you can do is wait. Um, but I'm still hoping that I get the job. I'll let you know, guys, and see you know if I get it or not. But hopefully, I could hear anything from her today um i emailed her yesterday just to you know touch base and i just let her know that i'm interested in the job that i'm looking forward to be part of the company that she'll be um that i hope she'll consider me for the position and um letting her know that i could do a lot for the company you know what i mean um giving employer follow-ups isn't bad because I did that when I uh, submit my application and then a week after that I follow up on her just letting her know that you know I just want to follow up with my application and that's when she called me in for an interview and then right after the first interview I sent her a thank you like a thank you um, email um, letting her know that um, you know I like what I heard from the interview I think it went pretty well and I uh, just thank her for calling me in and then yesterday I sent her an email again to kind of like follow up again and let her know that I'm here waiting for the job and I'm so again that letting her know that I'm excited to be part of it and stuff um, so yeah follow-up emails are great just don't be annoying and send um, email every day you know what I mean um, send follow-up email on a very reasonable amount of time in between I'm kind of like stopped submitting application because I wanna know what's going on with this first and then if I didn't get hired I'll continue submitting resumes I'm really hoping that I'll get this one because this is kind of perfect for what I've, what I've been looking for, especially the schedule and work times. So I'll let you know if I hear anything for sure. Either way, I'll let you know. And uh, we'll continue with this journey. And um, thank you guys for bearing with me all this time. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Hey everybody, so today is April 12th, Tuesday. I got an email today, like earlier in the, in the morning uh, from the second interview that I have been waiting for and um, she informed me that they went with somebody else which I'm really disappointed about because that that job was perfect for what I have been looking for and the fact that they offer two weeks vacation per year which is perfect for me but yeah i didn't get it so the journey continues you guys well we're gonna continue this journey together and today i have an interview at 12 and it's currently 11 46. um i have an interview it's an on-call receptionist and it's an on-call administrative assistant slash receptionist um it's part-time I saw the post online and I called her and <laughs> I was asking her about the days and the hours that she's gonna need me and it was so funny because she said um, this seems to be like you're the one interviewing me I was supposed to be the one interviewing you I told her that I'm interested to know more about the job and she said why don't you come in I would love to you know come talk to you and see what we could work on with the schedule so I'm here I'm just waiting I'll be coming in shortly but yeah that's the update I didn't get the job unfortunately so I'm right here um, I just continue submitting applications and see what happens and we'll take it from there I'm really disappointed for the past weekend I was so down like I almost felt depressed from that second interview that I didn't didn't get because I kind of like put my mind and heart into it that I was expecting that I'm gonna get it for sure because like the way the conversation went for the second interview um, but yeah there are, it's a very competitive field and there is a lot of people looking for jobs and it just got unlucky and um, it's kind of like so hard for me to get these jobs hopefully we'll get one soon so yeah I'm going to go in now and I'll get back to you guys next time 
Hey guys, good morning. So I'm not sure if I get back to you after my interview for the like on-call administrative assistant. Um, I'm not really sure if I get back to you, but anyways, I got the I had that interview and it went well. Uh, the problem was the scheduling because she wasn't sure of like what day and what time that she needs me. And um, I'm kind of decided by then that I'm not gonna take the job. But then she called me yesterday. Um, she called me yesterday and say, "Oh, do you want do you want to come in to work tomorrow?" I said, "Like, what time do you need me?" And she said, "12 till 4, 12 till 4. And I, uh, you know, told her, um, "You know, I would love to do the job. The job description is awesome. That's what I'm looking for. But unfortunately, you know, the time and the scheduling is not gonna work for me." Because I'm only available to work from 8 till 2 in the morning and then my husband has to work in the afternoon so I can't do it but thank you so much for calling and she said yeah thank you and then we hanged up and then a minute later she called me back and she said well you know if you're interested I could be flexible with the time with the time with the schedule and I said yeah that would be awesome and she said um, like like until what time you could work and I said I could only work till 2 because my husband is go to work and stuff like that and she said well why don't you come in from 10 till 2 and I said yeah sure I could do that so that's where I'm going today I'm going to go to work for her um, the thing is uh, she I'm not her employee I basically am a freelance administrative assistant if that's even a word um i'm not tied into her she's not tied into me and she's not responsible to pay for my taxes and all that i have to go do that myself um but yeah i'm going in today and see how it goes and um yeah see if this works for me but the thing is it's not a stable job you know what i mean she could let me go anytime she wants and at the same time if i could find something steady i could you know um, terminate my service and stuff like that so that's where I'm going right now and uh, yeah I'll see you guys later I'll tell you how it goes um, this first time this is gonna be my first time coming in so I'll let you know how it goes and yeah I'll see you later hey guys how are you doing so the last time I was I talked to you was I was on my way to work and uh, I stayed there for three hours and it's basically paperwork and she was just showing me the office routine that she has and showed me everything um, but, but, I, but, but as I said it was on call so you don't really know when is the last time she's gonna call me to come in so I didn't really like that that it's you know um, you don't have any security for the job but I came in and do some work and it was nice and she was talking about you know like potential hiring in the future but also at the same time she was talking about oh in real estate um, field you don't really know because there are times that I'm going to be busy but there are times that it's going to be so slow so basically she was telling me that there's no um, assurance that I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do a steady 40 hours a week I didn't really like that but I came in anyways to see what it is um, but yeah but tomorrow I'll have an interview in a, in a medical office clinic and I'm really hoping that I get that one because um, initially that's what I want to do um, but yeah I decided to talk to you guys today because I was really upset not upset but like I'm a little bit upset because there are a lot of like discrimination when it comes to like Filipinos applying for a job outside the live-in caregiver program you know when people see your resume and it says you were in a live-in caregiver, care caregiver program for a couple of years they you know like they assume that you can't do anything else rather than that um, they will assume that you know they could just offer you a nanny job instead of the position that they initially offered you you know what I mean and um, so yeah that's what I got I got a call today from you know that Oxbridge company that um, I went for an interview so she called me today I was like oh it was the owner who called me so I was thinking like oh maybe she will you know tell me to come in for a second interview or something like that but she said oh, I want to ask you a favor my son is looking for a full-time nanny 
um, like maybe you're interested I'm like um, not really because I am prioritizing the position that I am applying to before which is the receptionist and uh, that was I was looking for um, really so I I I'm not gonna do the nanny position right now because I have my priority and that's what I was hoping for to get but I said you know even though these people I have a lot of experience with that like people posting a different position and then when I come in for an interview they will offer me like a nanny job like come on like it's very rude and I think it's racist I'm sorry to tell you but it is you know I'm applying for a different position why would you offer me a nanny job just because you see my resume that has like a nanny experience you know what I mean I don't want to offend her back like I don't want to be disrespectful so I just told her you know I know an agency um, I will refer it to you and I don't really know anybody that is looking for work on that field right now so I gave her the agency that I know but I was pretty upset you know um, and sad to think that people will just assume that you can do anything else other than the nanny position I like I'm don't get me wrong a nanny job is awesome you know it's like especially if you're dealing with elderly or a child like one-on-one -on -one, you know what I mean that's awesome that's pretty awesome but for me it's not really what I am looking for right now I'm looking for a receptionist or a medical office assistant position um, that's what my priority right now and I, I don't know I don't know I'm upset so I just want to let you guys know about that and um, yeah but hopefully tomorrow I'll get the position hopefully we'll let you guys know tomorrow how it goes so yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.